No, my lights were being turned off. I owed so many in bills. There was a point where I had my children stay inside the salon suite because we had no lights to charge our stuff up for my son to do his homework. Hello, beautiful people. I hope you enjoy your stay and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Today's video, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty when it comes down to business. This is what we're gonna talk about. We're doing to talk about, um, oh yeah, I'm Sade. How y'all doing? Riga Roots Hair Care, we grow, you glow. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna talk about business cards. Why you should pass out business cards. And let me just say this. Uh, it may be for everybody, it may not be, but it's really, really good to just get some business cards when it comes down to your business and begin to pass it out, okay? I will explain the importance and my personal testimony when it comes down to these damn cards. I hope you enjoy. So, yeah, let me tell you my personal story. First of all, my name is Sade. I'm a hairstylist. I've been a hairstylist for about 10 years. Yeah, 10 plus, honestly. But yeah, so this is my first year having my own salon suite and my own business, which I'm so thankful for. And it's been a part of my journey for a long time. But yeah, it's in fruition. And it's like, you know, being a hairstylist and a business owner are two different things. Like, oh, you just got a lot. You got to wear a lot of hats. So anyway, let's talk about marketing, promotion, business cards specifically. So in the beginning, I, you know, opened up my salon suite. I had to find ways to attract business to my salon suite. And um, I was just trying to avoid, honestly, I'm an introvert, okay? I'm an introvert. And I've had a hard time, like, with approaching people and passing out cards. I sometimes get in my head and I'm like, okay, what do I say? What do I do? What do I do? What do I say? You know, and, you know, being an introvert or someone who is an overthinker, you can talk yourself mentally out of doing a lot of things, okay? And I think this video is going to be a little bit deep because it was very deep for me. So I tried to avoid, I've been trying to avoid passing out business cards for the longest time, okay? So what I did in the beginning of Regal Roots Hair Care, this whole thing, I would pay money, you know, for ads. I would pay money for, you know, people to promote me online. Um, yeah, so I've wasted a lot of money and I didn't see any, any progress at all. This is after a lot of months, many months, many months, many months, maybe about a good six months of like, it being slow i'm literally built rebuilding my clientele because of covid you know i completely stopped doing hair so i had to build my clientele from scratch some of my clients came but some of them you know moved on so yeah so i had to really really um figure this thing out and i feel like you know i'm gonna get spiritual here because i believe in god and yeah so if you don't believe in god this is not the place for you or you can just listen and get inspired. So yeah, so I feel like when you are, when you have a fear in something, I feel like God will allow you to suffer until you face that fear, right? Why would you be afraid of passing out business cards? But Lord, that anxiety is no joke for someone who has social anxiety. So yeah, so I avoided it. For a long time, like passing out business cards was like a fire breathing dragon. Like it was like a huge lion to me. It was man, Lord, it was huge. So I did everything I could in my career to, to pass out business card to avoid passing out business cards. And I eventually suffered a lot. There was a point where I hit rock bottom. All my lights were being turned off. Uh, no, my turned off. Uh, no, my lights were being turned off. I owed so many in bills. There was a point where I had my children stay inside the salon suite because we had no lights to charge our stuff up for my son to do his homework. I have a 16 year old son and a four year old daughter, and we were just all in here, just like trying to charge up our stuff. Ooh, child, because our lights had gotten cut off. So I literally was making about $800 for the whole entire month, maybe a thousand for the month, which is not good. And um, yeah, so 
I would honestly, I was very stubborn. I was very hard headed. I was, I was receiving messages that I should pass out business cards. Despite me being very stubborn, I, you know, I would receive these messages, but I wouldn't listen. And the more I didn't listen, the more, you know, poverty continued to uh, set in. The more I would lose, the more I would disappoint my family, the more I would have to ask people for money. And I, oh, I hate that. Uh, my son was disappointed in me and everything. And it's just like, like I said, when you're afraid to do something, I feel like God will put, put everything in front of you. And it's really up to you to grab the opportunity you know grab the blessing it'll be right in front of you if you don't grab it okay you're gonna suffer so that's basically what i did i, I spent a while suffering and it was like that point where i hit rock bottom i was like okay shade what are you gonna do you know i took my kids to school and it was just one day you know it's just so funny how things can just pop up to try to save you you know, it was like a YouTube video I was super inspired by. And this lady was talking about passing out business cards. And um, it was also a very spiritual video as well. Passing out business cards, I feel, or marking yourself in general is is like planting seeds, you know. But it's also you putting God's work in motion. Because if you don't move, God is not going to move. So I had gotten ideas because... <laughs> I know God knew. God knows how, how scared I was. I had to figure this thing out, you know. Um, and I, I got uh, an idea, you know. Um, first of all, DoorDash. Shout out to DoorDash and Instacart and things like that. I got an idea to do DoorDash, sign up for DoorDash, do DoorDash, and um, Instacart. Use that opportunity to pass out your business cards. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but that's what came to me. So let me tell y'all. That was my way because it's easy. All you're doing is giving people their food. And then like, you know, you say your little thing. If you don't know what to say, if you want to write down what to say and then just keep on saying the same thing to different people, that's fine. But it's like you're just basically giving the people their food. <laughs> Uh, say your little spiel. This is my, um, I'm a hairstylist. I do this on the side, da -da -da, whatever. I specialize in this. And I just want to give this to you. Hopefully, you know, I can hook you up. Whatever. However you decide to say it, okay? Um, yeah, so I started doing that. Uh, let me tell you how bad it was. Like, I advertised on Craigslist for a long time. Facebook for a long time. Things were working out for a little while. But after a while, it was like, all right, Shade, how long are you going to avoid? And this is the voice. Ugh. Spirit guides, whatever. It was saying, how long are you going to avoid facing your fear of passing off these business cards? So, um, yeah. So, when I tell you nothing was working, nothing was working. All right, unless I pass out that it's just like pass out the business cards. So anyway, moving forward, DoorDash. I start DoorDashing. I get I have my cards, okay. And these cards were sitting for months, long time. Okay, the information is probably different. Should have been changed, whatever. So <laughs> I was passing out the cards as I was doing Instacart in the supermarket, passing out business cards as I would deliver people's food for DoorDash. You know, if I felt like they were in, you know, my target market, I'll just pass it out to them and I'll just act like I gotta go, okay? So let me tell you the, the power. It is a spiritual thing, okay? Not one of those people that I passed out my business cards to came to me. Not one. But why craigslist started working why facebook marketplace started working why was i receiving all these random phone calls from people whether they were my old clients or my or brand new clients i don't know where they found me i have no idea but it wasn't the people i physically passed out business cards to so within a matter of let's say three weeks well let me not even do that when I started passing out my business cards, that same week, I became fully booked, okay? And it's, it, it wasn't even from the people that I passed the business cards out to. So it was literally God saying like, 
Um, great. Good job. You're doing good. Keep going. And he was sending me clients. I don't know where these people were coming from, but they were flowing. So within, so my first week, I literally made a thousand dollars in that first week and I credit nobody else but God and all of my spiritual army up there because I told you guys I was making only $800 for the month or a thousand for the month and that was only to cover my booth rent you know or the rent here crazy so I started planting the seeds and then things were just like boom boom like confirmation you need to be conquering your fears stop playing games or else you will suffer that's what happened to me and it was it, it just I just was crying I had people around me that knew me that was just bugging out because they knew how scared I was they knew my story and it's crazy I went from that and I made five thousand dollars in one month one month my first successful month okay <laughs> amazing so moral of the story is whatever it is that you're afraid of we have a tendency to make things way worse than what it really truly is in our minds when we face that fear conquer that fear our spirit grows our spirit is happy you're moving in the right direction you know your self-esteem goes up even more so the more that you pull yourself away from your desires and it's scary you have to get uncomfortable to be successful but the more you pull yourself away from your desires and you let fear take over the more you're going to beat yourself up the lower your self-esteem is going to be the more you're gonna look at the world around you and you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this person's making progress or this person is doing exactly what I wanted to do. You know, you will get things that remind you like you could have been here if you would have listened or, you know, like energy is transferable. So you think you're the only one that's gonna get that idea? Somebody else is gonna get that idea if you don't act on it, okay? They're going to get that idea and you're going to be mad that you didn't jump on it right then and there because of fear. And you're going to beat yourself up. Don't be like me, y'all. <laughs> Don't be like me. But I'm learning, you know. I can't say it's easy every time, but I know the difference between when I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm in alignment and when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, okay? Creating that resistance. I don't know if y'all know about resistance. But creating that resistance and allowing myself to be upset, mad, suffer, anger, blah, 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 guilt, shame. All those things come into play when you are not, when you're like not conquering your fears. And it's not as bad as we think. Just do it. Just just one day, if you got to get a little wine, pass out some cards, drink a little bit of wine or something to, or, or say a prayer, you know, say some, do something to, to relax you so that if you have the same fear as I do, or if, if there's anything that you're afraid to do, like get in front of the camera, whatever it is, just do something to relax you. But you will be proud of yourself once you do it. Once you do it. Yeah. It's all in our minds, you know. Oh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it. That's all I got. I know I'll have more soon. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. I think one of the things is like, how did I gain that fear? And I think it was from hitting rock bottom. You know, you don't really want to hit rock bottom. You don't want to. But if you can save yourself, do what you got to do to conquer that fear before you hit rock bottom, just do it. I promise you, you will be happy with yourself. I promise you. I promise you. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.